Hey there friends, I'm excited to be working with the September 2020 SCT sampler. This sampler includes beautiful die cuts and papers from Cardabella, their farmhouse market collection, and Pebbles, the Avenue collection. So I'm just flipping through some of these now so that you can see these gorgeous papers. They're cut down to six inches by six inches and I love that size. I find that I can layer them on my layouts or use them perfectly for cards. Then we have these awesome close to my heart artistic U watercolor sheets that have different sayings on them that you'll be able to see when you watercolor over them. We also have an Echo Park stencil which I'm really excited to use on this layout and that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I love this kind of sweater uh, textural design on this stencil and I want to use that first on my background. I have printed out a four inch by six inch photo of our home, us standing in front of our brand new home, well new to us home, on the day of our inspection. I haven't uh, documented this photo yet so I'm really excited to do so with this sampler. There are so many different uh, things about home and gratitude in the sampler, it makes sense to document home. So I'm using this awesome Echo Park stencil, it looks really cool, and the brand new uh, Blue Bell ink, it's exclusive ink from Close to My Heart. I really love this beautiful hue. I'm also using a stencil brush from American Crafts and Vicki Booten. It's one of her uh, mixed media brushes. So I love that you can kind of take a look at what's behind your stencil as long as you hold it down with washi tape on the other side and it can just tell you if you need to add more or um, you know do something different if there's a spot behind your stencil that hasn't gotten enough ink. So I really like that there. I like the, the edges to not be crisp. I want them to kind of fade into that white background. So I just moved my stencil over and I'm doing the other side of my layout. Now this is going to add a really cool horizontal line of texture and a really subtle color there which I'm super excited about. This new Close to My Heart ink color is one of my favorites, so I'm really happy to use it on, on a layout today. Okay, so there's my 4 by 6 inch photo and my background is all done. Next I'm going to go through these awesome papers in the sampler and I'm pulling out this beautiful wood grain from the Avenue collection. I really like the way that that uh, warm wood grain pops against the subtle blue color on the background. And so I'm just putting uh, a bit of that. I cut off about an inch and I put that behind my photo. I want to find some more patterns that will work with this but not take away from what I've already laid down. Now these Cartabella papers are really beautiful but I think I'm saving those for a card. I really like this floral design but I don't want to cover up any more of the stenciled area that I have there. The back side of that wood grain has, uh, it's a white pattern with these little houses on it and I think that's going to be perfect for adding just another really subtle pattern to the background. So I'm going to split that in half because you won't see it behind my photo and add that behind. So I kind of have created um, a crisscross design with the horizontal elements and that vertical uh, wood grain. There are so many gorgeous die cuts in the sampler this month and I just love these beautiful florals which I'm going to kind of create a frame around my photo with. I also love these home die cuts. That one says home sweet home and uh, there's some little gold ones as well. Now I want to add a pattern along the bottom and I think that that small floral is going to be just perfect and it's going to create a little space for me to add some more embellishments as well, almost like a little shelf there. Okay, you can see that I added some of the little homes on the bottom and I've created that beautiful frame around my photo with the florals. I've also added that enjoy today tag there at the bottom of my photo. 
Now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put my title and I think because I want to add a little bit more journaling I'm going to save that for the top of the layout and add my home title below my photo. Now I want that to be just as wide as the wood uh, the wood grain pattern so I'm going to have to kind of squeeze that together. I'm also making my floral strip at the bottom a bit smaller so that I can fit that home with some more white space around it. So my journaling is going to go at the top there and I'm going to just add that with uh, Photoshop elements and my printer. So there's my journaling on my layout. One thing I love about creating eight and a half inch by 11 inch layouts is that you don't have to have a special printer to print on your background. I'm adding the floral strip at the bottom here using my scrapbook adhesives by 3L Easy Runner Grand, which I love. And then I'm just gonna trim off that excess paper there. Okay, next I need to add my little house strip to the left here and just to be sure that I get that straight for the other piece I'm going to measure that with my clear ruler over there and then my photo is going to be added using the scrapbook adhesives by 3L foam squares I want to add some dimension to that photo and make it kind of pop off the page. Now I've decided to put the little house die cuts on top of the pattern paper because they'll stick out a bit more being against that white background. And I really like the way that looks. I'm going to bump up that bigger one with foam adhesives again. And then my title, remember how I said I wanted to only make that the width of the wood veneer? So what I'm going to do is kind of squeeze that together and use the heart in, that's in place of the O in home. I'm going to use dimensional adhesive on that to bump it up. So two pieces on there. There we go. Now I just need to add these die cuts using some foam adhesive. And I want to add that pink one behind here too so that I can get all the colors around the page. Now I really like this greenery, but I'm going to cut it apart. I want to use it to frame the photo a little bit more. So this piece is going to kind of hang down here on the left. And then I'm going to cut another piece to go the opposite way on the top of the photo. So it creates a nice frame there at the top. It really draws your eye to the photo now that everything is kind of surrounding it. So the only thing I'm going to add to this layout that is not included in the sampler is some baker's twine on this Enjoy Today die cut and I'm just using my We Are Memory Keepers hole punch there to punch two holes on the side and then I'm adding some cute little hearts up here and that's my layout complete. I really like that there's a triangle of gold, all those florals are really pretty and now that I've created a layout, I think we can create a card too. I have all of these awesome pieces of paper and I also have this one here that has all these cut aparts that are perfect for sending a card. They have a happy birthday, thanks, all sorts of different uh, phrases that are perfect for card greetings. So I'm just cutting up some of that beautiful Cardabella uh, paper that uh, book paper is one of the Cartabella designs and grabbing this thanks flag and I'm just cutting it there because that's going to be a perfect sentiment there. I cut that book paper um, at four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm essentially making a card front and I really like to make card fronts uh, because they're easier to store and then when I'm ready to send them I can just adhere it onto 
um, a folded A2 card. Now these little tags from the Farmhouse Market Collection are so sweet. I wanted to fit three on the card and I couldn't. So um, one it is because I'd rather do things in odd numbers. So I'm just grabbing some more of those Farmhouse Market die cuts that came in the sampler and seeing what other papers I have here. Now finding these solids, which are fabulous by the way because they have that awesome texture, makes me feel like I need to frame that, uh, that background paper. So I'm just framing that in that dark pink solid and then adding everything back on again. I'm using some dimensional adhesive to add my salutation there. I'm using um, some more to add on this floral tag and I'm also going to put Baker's twine through that as well and then this little vintage market die cut fits in nicely there and adds some contrast. Now this floral design is just itching to be fussy cut and it's going to add a couple of nice flowers around my little embellishment grouping here. Remember when you fussy cut that you don't have to get really, really close uh, to whatever you're cutting out. You should leave a little bit of a white border because when you get a die cut pack, those usually have a white border anyway, so it looks just like you had a die cut. Adding this little clothespin die cut as well for a bit of that blue color, that kind of robin's egg blue up there. And then I think we need another flower, something smaller and maybe the lighter pink. So I'm adding that up to the top above the Vintage Market die cut. These samplers always include some great products for creating quick and easy cards. So I highly suggest that you try it out with your sampler today. See how many that you can make. I'm adding that adhesive brad there and a couple of the puffy hearts to finish it off. So I really enjoyed creating with a September sampler this month, a layout and a card, and I have so much more that I can use to create uh, even more projects with. I hope you guys have been inspired to pull out your September samplers. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to click the link in this video to find out more about an SCT sampler subscription for as little as $13 a month. Thanks so much for watching and happy creating.